James, what's your assessment of tonight's game? Uh, I think considering we had a really young team, um, I think everyone can go home with a health head high. You know, we took a strong Bradford side. Obviously, they're, they're in League Two, but we took them to penalties, so nothing to uh, nothing to be like ashamed of. Um, so yeah, I think everyone can be pretty positive. Obviously, second half we were quite deep. Would have been nice to get on the ball a bit more and try and you know create more chances. But you know, it's been a tough few weeks for the lads, uh, and I think you know, like towards the latter end of games, are the youth in the side probably showed. Yeah, looking at the, the age of the team tonight, we believe it's the youngest team that the football club's ever put out. Is it a lot to be encouraged by? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Obviously, you probably don't want that every week. Obviously, with previous results, it's been a bit, you know, a bit, you know, not great. We've been getting battered a few games, but obviously, if we get the experience in, uh, blended with that youth uh, and the talent that we've got, I think we can do really positive things. Yeah, with the new management in the building and, and nine new players coming in on deadline day, there'll be competition for places, but you must be looking to, to retain your place in the team. Yeah, I mean, everyone does. I think the assistant said when he came in, anyone who's got anything about them, when new competition comes in, you raise your game, you know, you you just see it as competition. You don't see it as like, oh, we're not going to play, you know what I mean? You just want to fight for your place in the team and that makes everyone better and it makes the team stronger. How have you found your time at the football club so far? It's been a weird one. I'm not gonna lie. It's been mentally pretty, pretty weird. Like I've never been. I mean, I've been through some bad times with my injuries, but actually being fit and seeing it's it's been a weird period. But the, I mean, the fans I was saying before, the fans have been absolutely incredible. So you know, I've I've loved every minute of that. And just to be playing like Saturday, Tuesday, I know the results haven't been amazing, but I've enjoyed it. And hopefully, we can get a few more positive results. Now we've got a few more experienced lads in the door. Yeah, I guess that's probably the main thing for you now in your career, just establishing yourself and, and, and getting first team games under your belt on a regular basis. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's just, um, it's exactly that. I just want to, you know, play 30, 40 games a season and just enjoy it, be part of that squad instead of, you know, a bit part of substitutions and that. So hopefully I can show the new new manager and what I can do and hopefully he's impressed. There's no game for almost two weeks now. Does tonight give us something to build on finally? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I imagine it's, it'll be a much different team to that play tonight than to Rotherham. Um, but it gives us 10, 12 days, whatever it is, to prep the side, get our good shape, and sh you know the manager can install his principles, what he wants us to do, and then we can hopefully get a positive result uh, in the league game. You mentioned about how good the crowd had been in the first month of the season. For 9,000 to turn out in, in this competition for tonight's game is unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, it's unbelievable. I mean, they had to pause uh, pause the game, I think, because there were so many fans coming in. So uh, the support's been unbelievable. And, like, I mean, it's the le leasing.com trophy. I don't think it's the most famous in the in the world. So to, to get 9,000 on the midweek game is unbelievable.